Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Friday? <clears throat> What's that? Friday, you say? Well, yes, I do say Friday. Why do I say Friday? Because, unfortunately, stuff happened yesterday and I wasn't able to make it into the office. So, <clears throat> we're just making it up today. And welcome, ladies and tra. You got in too early. You didn't even get your you get your thing on on the on the on the on the recording yet. Huh, that's weird. Uh welcome Ika. How's it going? Better today than yesterday, I would say, friend. Uh yesterday was a weird day, so but I'm happy to be here now. Doing the stuff and things. I was dancing during the opening, though. Yeah, the music, uh, the music availability is, uh, I'd say, pretty good. How's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Everybody looking forward to the uh, the the weekend. Where is? Oh, that's right. It's under Thursday stuff. I forgot. I made a Thursday stuff heading specifically for the Thursday stuff. All right. Let us commence. Yeah, unfortunately, my friend asked me to help them move some stuff from their apartment uh, into a truck and then take that truck to a storage facility. They're like, yeah, it's like five or six items. It's just mostly that it's weird and wonky. Get it loaded on the truck and we get it dropped off. Not an issue. Less than an hour. I'm like, all right, I've got time for that probably. Then we got handed at work, <clears throat> like a bunch of work, out of the kind of out of the blue. And I had been getting off work about an hour and a half early. And that yesterday, the day I needed to get off as early as possible, we got off about, I don't know, 30 minutes early. So I ran over there and then it turned out it's just going to take about, uh, oh, I don't know, a full two hours worth of work um, to actually get the stuff dropped off and loaded. And then the second run and it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Day 61, two days remaining. So we are rapidly approaching the end of the days. What's going to happen? I have absolutely positively no idea. Find out together, though, I guess. That's one good thing about a Let's Play. We're finding out as a group. Okay, so we don't need money. We don't need stuff. Usually the stories are... I don't know what story is even happening at this point. So I'm going to walk around and check just in case, but generally speaking, I think we're mostly done with all the extra story stuff. Okay. Oh, I mean, do you have the, the mind for the training? Oh, that was something that happened. So last week we um, had a little issue where the gangsters from the uh, the beginning of the module showed up and turned out they had we weaseled their way in. Sound? Oh, weird. How, how, how very odd. There we go. Uh, uh, okay. We're, are we okay? Okay. 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 There we go. Sorry about that. This module actually has very good sound, so I'm happy you mentioned that. Thank you. But yeah, so last week uh, they... Uh, Weaseled their way in, and they kidnapped uh, Pineapple here, Knife Leopard, and hit him in a closet. And so someone had to do a stand-in, and that was, in this case, Nebraska went out, and we had our first combat, our first mecha combat with Nebraska as our pilot. It went odd, but well. Uh, we managed to pull it off with a bunch of non-stop flying kicks to the, the solar plexus until they went down, basically. There's a little bit more in there, but that was the vast majority of it, was just repeated kicks just straight to the solar plexus. Um, there's there's definitely some um, issues, though, we've noticed with maybe a little unfavoritism in that 
while the cameras caught us sneaking Nebraska into our own mech during like a power outage that we uh, orchestrated, they did not somehow catch Pineapple being kidnapped from his room and dragged to a closet. They didn't care about that apparently, but they did care about us using Nebraska instead. Luckily, they were nice enough to let us go around, go through with it. That was awesome, dude. It was crazy. Hey, Shado, what can I pilot again? You shouldn't, but as long as I'm not there, suit yourself. <laughs> wait! I can't wait! Oh my god, return to enter a mech pilot, everybody. It's not surprising. As much stuff as she talks about, it's not surprising she's got some uh, aspirations of mech pilotry. Okay, wait, do we get some new protocols then? Oh, we don't. I was hoping maybe some of the, her moves would be in the, the available options, but I guess not. Wah, wah. Okay, Duke, what do you got to say? I can't believe the audacity of those guys. Kidnapping the kid right under my goddamn nose. By the way, where are those crappers? I hope they're rotten in prison now. Seems like they vanished after the fight. <laughs> That's just great. How do they keep getting away? Unless they're literally magic with all the security and stuff that is installed in this location. We are on a remote island that is only accessible by a, via boat. How did they sneak away? Did they have a yacht waiting for them? What? I feel shenanigans are afoot. Everybody. Okay, mech's totally leveled up. So five extra pineapples for no reason. All right. Well, I mean, okay. I guess that's the story, right? Like, we literally have nothing else to do. We've completed all the side quest stuff. We just basically got to go in, talk to people, and then move on. And since we can only go into the bar after a fight, there's, we can't even go back to do that again. See if maybe there's somebody else in there. Yeah, see, that just takes us back to the hangar. So, yeah, there's literally nothing for us to do except talk to our team and then go to bed. Oh, I guess I could go... I guess I can make a trip to the city and go pick up money from the arcade, but, like, what is that even accomplishing at this point? I do like the eeriness, though, of the town when it's all abandoned. They did a good job with that. Um, yeah, I need to go here. And then I need to do the money. Arcade Paradise. Luckily, there's a late bus that runs to the Arcade Paradise at night. $2,000. Nobody here, but... I don't remember if we were able to find... I don't think we were able to find Mangoose at night, right? It's only the bear guy standing in for everyone at their various locations. Yeah, all I can do is BDSM and cat bath. Okay, yeah. I'm kind of surprised there's not an achievement for spending a certain amount of money with... Um, Mangoose. And I feel like I definitely, definitely, definitely spent more than enough. Because, like, every single day before we left for the island, I went there and I found Mangoose and gave him $10. So, if that's, if that doesn't earn it, then, if that doesn't earn it, the only way to earn it is to go out of your way to pay him extra. And I'm not doing that. Okay, call it a day. Yep. Ah, oh, here we go. What, what do you want here? Just a pack of cigs, man. Get out. I don't want your type in here. What type, you fucker? Criminal. Get out. Leave it, bro. Not worth it. We can hit another store. No. I'm done with 
and shit. These fucking bastards don't have an ounce of respect for me in their entire bodies. Get out of my store, you filthy yakuza. Get out! Get out! Or oh, he's got a gun. Good to know you're on. Say, I think I got your guns, little sister. Right here! Oh, Fuck and he's dead. Man. What have you done? Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I... He deserve it. He deserve it. You old criminals. Fuck you. Oh my god. Wow, that got violent hyper quickly. Whoa. Cardinal Vexodus, welcome. Uh, hey, I'll be hanging around as long as the internet permits, or the idiots packing in the hall blocking the signal. The third lieutenant of the Tora family, head of the Shishogun clan. Oh my god, did he survive? He survived it. Apparently his whole body was hit with, like, shotgun spray, but... I'm here to take full responsibility for the act of my protégés. Oh yeah, Bun. Please, ensure that no harm will fall upon them. I alone will pay the price. What? Fine. We will take you to the hall. If you manage to survive, you will spend the rest of your time in prison. The moment you step outside this building, you're no longer a part of the family. As for your kids, they must leave this country and never show their faces again. That was intense. Yeah, that was that was a lot all of a sudden. And thanks again for dropping by, Card. Came in at a great time. You just witnessed some insanity. Came in just in time to see a guy get blasted by the shoddy. Yeah, that's our buddy Coltrane. He uh he was another member of the Yakuza, but we're both become kind of disenfranchised with the whole thing. And we went into a into a grocery store to get some cigs, like a little corner store, and the guy threatened us with a shotgun, and then that happened. Thank you, thank you, Patriarch. I will not forget your generosity. It's time I got rid of you. I'm sure your kids did me a favor. I don't like the rumors that surround you. You've always been loyal to this family. And your results were mostly outstanding. But your reputation has halved our business. Uh, I understand. Let your wrongs be paid for. You will have plenty to like in jail. So, I wonder if you will have too much of a good time there. Get him to the hole. And make sure I never see this gaijin again. I'm confused on how exactly that was our fault. We went into a sort of by SIGs. The guy pulled a shotgun on us. And then I guess because we took it, we escalated it, but not really. <laughs> like, what? It wasn't like we went in and like tried to rob the guy and be disrespectful. He pulled a shoddy on us. <clears throat> I'm surprised Coltrane survived though. <sighs> okay, so I think is today the day. I think today's the day. <laughs> yeah, Bo. I can't believe you guys actually made it this far. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Somehow, I'm craving broccoli today. Shade, Shade and Coltrane were both foreigners, so it's easier to blame things on them. Sad part about Japanese culture. Ah, okay. I mean, there was some mild, like, racial implications during that conversation, too, but... Yeah. It, it seemed more like... The clerk escalated it more than we did, but somehow we took the blame, I Don't guess. Don't let your guards down, honey. The queen 
seen her. I wonder what kind of person she is. This is it, dude. No going back now. It's been awesome to have you guys here, you know? I got a new mouse today, sharing it to business. I assume you mean a computer mouse and not a pet mouse. Because if it's a pet mouse, put it in the pet pick section. Not the business as usual. Let's win this thing. And also make sure it's doing a cute thing. Which is pretty easy for a mouse because they're usually pretty cute. But don't be like taking a picture of it like pooping or something. Like let it eat some cheese and then be all like squeaky and that, that'd be fine. Tomorrow's gonna be huge, ain't it, cat man? Oh, okay, so we're going tomorrow. Okay, got it. Uh, I think that's it. I think I talked to everybody. E, a computer mouse? Okay, cool, cool. I'm actually excited. The, the world has gotten really advanced with its computer mice. There is some, there is some stuff out there these days. I'm not even worried about the money. It's called us day. Piloting is life. Anything before or after it, that's just fate. <laughs> she was racing cars the second she learned how to walk. She had a My weird number on. I were raised among machines. I still remember the smell of grease and oil every morning. Nana's the one who raised us. We lost our parents in a plane accident. That's all there is to it. Shortly after, Grandpa was diagnosed with lung cancer and had about a month or so. It was just the three of us back then. Me, Villamin, and Nana. Gotta say, though, it was Villamin's passion for speed that kept us from going under. Before we knew it, we were taking part in kart races. Then drag races, underground races, anything really. We spent our weekends assembling sleeper cars, optimizing engines and frames for a 1.79% performance increase. It was insane, but we did it for her. It was December 2007, a rainy day when she got into that accident. Tires got no traction on the wet road. She lost control and hit the wall at 200 miles per hour. Oh, that's bad. The injuries were bad. 65 fractures, nine of them exposed. She broke both arms, one leg, and her ribcage. She spent three years in a coma with little to no chance of recovery. We had this poster in our hospital room, a red mecca holding a flag, something that a previous patient had left behind. I guess it never went through anyone's head to just rip it off, so... When she miraculously woke up, it was the first thing she saw. She couldn't divert her eyes from that sight. In 2011, when mech battles really became a thing, the drive for piloting is what kept her going through her physiotherapy sessions. It was hard. She'd take two steps a day, her whole body dripping with sweat, tears running down her cheeks. Sometimes she let out a painful shriek. It really broke our hearts to see her like that. We hung that poster on her bedroom wall. We even took it to her physio sessions. It gave her strength. One thing you gotta know about my sister is, she never gives up. She doesn't let anything stand in the way of her dream. When she's piloting, she's free. By the end of 2013, she was already back into shape. Hell, she was even better. We'd already spent all of our cash just to bring her back, so even though she wanted it, we couldn't just give her a mech. I mean, this stuff is freaking expensive. Yeah, it is. How the hell do you buy a giant robot and just store it in your backyard? I don't know, but we pulled it off. But she didn't give up. I was afraid she'd race again, but honestly, she wasn't a bit concerned about that. Nana was convinced to help her follow her heart no matter what, so we resumed our work on the sleeper cars. In about one year, Milamine had one trophy for almost every regional competition in the country. She left a blazing trail of victories wherever she raced. 
In two years, we had enough to buy the same red mech from that poster. Stuff of dreams, really. In 2015, we had our first customer. It was still an entourage model. Nana was still around by that time, so she was able to see her granddaughter eating up those rags for breakfast. A shame she couldn't see it when she finally got to number one. I like to think she went with a soft heart, knowing that she did everything she could for us. That's why we named our brand after Nana. Engelbrecht. We've been designing our own mechs for a while, always placing it. We've seen our share of mech pilots. Most of them talk big and all, but for us. It was never about the money or glamour, the fans or anything else. For her, it's all about breathing. That's why she's number one. That's why she's still there. Because mech piloting is her life. Nothing gives her as much joy. She still savors every punch, every move. And that's why you're never taking her down. Because this is who she is. They don't call her queen for nothing. Inspirational. End of day 62. So it's tomorrow. Day 63. My biological dad has spent decades living in Japan, and he would still get blamed for all sorts of stuff. Heck, at this point, he's better at speaking Japanese than my mom, a native, is. Well, yeah, what can you do? Weird national customs, man. He said, I know when this day would come. It's always been there lurking, crawling in the back of my mind. This feeling. This sensation. It is here, ain't it? The end of my days. Oh. Okay. This is it, folks. Our last battle. When this all began, it was nothing more than a delusion. A crazy, crappy idea. Who'd have thunk we'd be able to make it this far? This mech, cowboy, he's my family now. As are all of you. We're in this together. Nothing can stop us. I'm sorry I doubted you, kiddo. But now, I do think we can win this one. You're gonna be the best pilot in the world. <laughs> I appreciate the moral support there, Lace Centra. Thanks, dude. That's not all. Cut to the chase, killer hound. Yes, ma'am. We got our secret weapon. Oh. But there's a catch, kiddo. We can only use it once? You can only use it once. There it is. After that, you'll have your defenses bare. There it is. In Japan, most foreigners are either tourists or military, so being a foreigner who's just living there sticks out. So way Japan has always been for hundreds of years. Yeah, I mean, they've been pretty, um, uh, what's the term, like, locked off from a lot of the world for a long, long time. And they did not happily and cheerfully start in, in, embracing other cultures, um, peacefully. Isol isol isolationists, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's the word I could not think of. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I mean, you, I, it, being here from the States, you hear a lot of different legends about how they kind of opened up to the world. But I, I don't know enough about history to know whether those things are true or not. So. So you better watch your timing, darling. That's the stuff of dreams. It's true. And... Maybe not super well written plots. Now, beware though, bud. The queen's got an arsenal of her own. 
I wouldn't be surprised if she dropped something crazy on us. Well, I guess that's it. Let's get ready for our last battle. We don't know it's our last battle. This is just the end of the tournament. I'm sure we're going to get to keep fighting for a very, very long time. For the rest of our lives, which will definitely not end today. I'm sure of it. I'm sure we'll be battling on and on until our old age when we can finally retire legends. And none of us are going to die right here, right now, after this fight happens. Or in the middle of the fight. Or before the fight even starts, perhaps. Cthulhu fight? Uh, it, there is a chance. Good luck to all of us. Uh, and don't let your pilot forget our promise. We'll have our rematch. I've been seeing some weird stuff recently. I guess I'm just going nuts or something. Never mind. Let's do our best and get this over with. Hey, I told you I was gonna make him a champion. It might have been in the hopes of a regional championship, but I'll take world champ. Seems like a perfect fit. <laughs> I mean, they act like he's the only one who's gonna be famous. Kind of crazy how they had that whole Hitman subplot just fizzle into nothing, apparently. They had that whole Hitman sub... The Hitman subplot? Oh, you're talking about the cat guy and the dog. Is that who you're talking about? The cat guy and the dog guy? Oh, oh, at the bar. Yeah, yeah, the really tall guy with the weird face and the chick on the motorcycle. Yeah, nothing has come of that. All they said was that um, all of them got scared off or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. It was super weird. It just went away. But do you have new techniques? No, of course you don't. Okay. At least some of the Russia stuff did become relevant. I mean, you're in Russia now. Yeah, we're on a like obscure island in Russia. Yeah. So the the news article stuff became relevant, but none of the bounty hunter stuff turned out to be anything valuable. It's very strange. I've never really thought this time would come. It's really something, dude. I'll keep doing my best. We're gonna take this trophy home. You can count on it. This is it, Catman. It all comes down to this very moment. I mean, at this point, even if we lose, we're still going to be super famous and, like, hyper-relevant. My mother's life is on the line. <laughs> My own life is on the line. But I trust you guys. We can do this. All right. Everybody ready for the last fight, poten potentially? Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. Do I have to apply the secret weapon or is it already applied? Okay, it looks like it's already up. It's going to be automatically applied. Carabine, caravan. Okay. All right, everybody, here we go. I'm still here. I have to be. Even though I feel like fading. Once again into the fray, huh? For the last good fight I'll ever have. You don't know that. <laughs> wow, that is an interesting emo. Out there, you're the best. I just wanted you to know that. Sup, wizard? Cracking up? Uh, shut your crap, cat man. I can't help but look back at all the shit we've been through. But hey, it was fun having you guys around this one last yes, time. Yes, she does. She has a ton of emotes. Who said it's gotta be the last? I don't know, kid. Maybe it's not. 
Right, exactly. Why do we think this is the last going, one? Dude. After this is over, there's going to be a whole different world for us out there. Right, exactly. Knife Leopard gets it. Buckle up, pineapples. We're out of time. Sure, dude. You got this, kiddo. Good luck out there. One more thing. Kick ass tonight. I will. The... <laughs> Queen in Eagle Brick and Knife Leopard in Cowboy. Well, at least I have my exclusive Zane emotes. Exactly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's actually like color. A Chinese model made in Taiwan. Powered by two engines. Sturdy frames. Sacrifices speed for defense, but overall a balanced build. Have you ever considered adding a third engine to your build? It may improve the lack of speed and add more juice for maneuvers. Wow, dude. We, in fact, have. That's why we went from having, like, three action points to having six action points. Yeah, she's also got a lightsaber or something. percent overall performance increase. That's awesome to hear. I'll talk to Duke. My build actually utilizes seven different engines. Wow. Seven? Yeah. The four of them are micro engines developed by our brand. I'll show you what they can do in a minute. Are you going first? She is going first. Wow, I think in the actual main fights, that's this is the first time that's happened. Okay, that was a lot <clears throat> um but it was just basic damage stuff it, there wasn't anything like crazy there hey what does she actually look like Ooh, wow oh my god she's already up to seven seventy percent oh my god all right everybody is this is gonna be a slog of a fight everybody uh, uh, disable her left arm? Y yeah. That'll be her left arm. I guess, yeah, we'll see what happens. Her main weapon looks like that saber. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have to get our guard up. And then... Get some unnatural self-esteem going and seeing what happens of that what that actually does to her. Alright. Oh, I still have two action points left. I forgot I'm up to six now. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um one MP. One. God, I forgot. We have other things and stuff. Um, let's just focus on this arm for the moment. I completely forgot. Maybe it would have been better off doing two of the uh, overwhelming confidence things, but we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, there's a right arm attack. 70 damage. Wow. Okay, she so went up by 40 here. She's pushing us. Okay, yeah, it seems like her left arm is her primary arm. <clears throat> That's good to know. I don't really want her pushing us against the wall if we can help it. Hit her here. That'll push her back two. 
Yeah, let's try that. Start taking this arm apart. And then... It's at 80. So she's getting 40 a turn, plus the 30 extra she started out with. Let's see. So if I heal my arm, I can get an extra action point. One AP. Okay, we're gonna keep this arm healed up as much as we can. And then... Do this. 40 will take her to 90. I don't have anything that can reach her now, though. So what we'll do... We'll slug reload then, and we'll just do, we'll just do another one of these. This will give me the heal and then stop her from getting the heal to get start getting that arm back. Basically, we can if we can survive this next round of attacks, we can break her arm and then start going after her torso. You got a nice punching stance. I can see you managed to attack with your mecha's whole body. Yeah. It's a different thing for a flying mecha, though, since I can't rely on ground crew. Oh, you're floating. Oh, interesting. That's right. I'm impressed both with your piloting and your mecha. Thanks, dude. Your mecha's the coolest. I designed her myself. Okay. Oh, okay. Crimson finisher. Sorry, I screwed up. I made a jump too early, so Angle didn't reach full potential for that last attack. I keep making mistakes. I haven't been this anxious in a while. <laughs> you truly are a worthy opponent. Yeah, we're actually making it past round two, so we're getting dialogue. Don't worry, dude. Everyone makes mistakes. You're right. It's only been one week since I got this build. I'm still getting used to it. Okay. Interesting. You did not do as much attacking there as I thought you were going to do. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now if I... So if I do, I'm going to start healing this over time. That'll max that out. I do this. This will break that arm. Perfect. That'll take care of that annoying sword. Hopefully. Not for long. It's a start. Yeah. Now go for the jugular, darling. Yes. Donkey bought himself some time. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Wow. That is a powerful thing. All right. damage on and start eating that armor off. She has a lot of armor on that torso. Hey, call her there.
Oh my god, did she just... She just, like, summoned a nano pit repair. Wow. I think she's just cheating. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. All right. Well, still options. Wait, no. Wait, no, what? My AP? What? Oh, oh, the heal thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was more worried about getting the, uh... That's fine. My arm fixed, but yeah, you're right. You're gonna recover your one AP, yeah. That's, that's my bad. Oh, we got this back, though. That's fine. Oh my god, it didn't break the arm. I thought for sure that was going to be a finish move on the breaking the arm. Okay, slug reload. Step back one. We've got the movement. Plus, this will eat the rest of that armor off. Well, most of it, anyway. Not quite all of it, but... Cactus Guard's got a turn. He's at zero. Okay, we'll save that then. Yeah, we can just do another rifle burst and take some more chest armor off. It's not much, but we gotta make start making progress on it one way or the other, so. Okay. Perfect punch. Now what are you gonna do? Some pushing? This ain't a fight. Oh, her movements. How the hell does she make it look so light? You're not wrong, honey. But that's not the only thing that's impressive about this fight. Uh, the kiddo is keeping up with her. He may not be as gracious, but I dare to say we have a chance. Oh, we got more than maybe a chance. What are you talking about? We are we we are long and far away from not having a chance. We 100% have a chance at this. Not subtlety either, everybody. Like Oh, wait. We're going to do that. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit her with this There we go Okay, okay now we can do this cover the arm damage yeah I've been very suboptimal in this fight but we're still getting there everybody no 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 this yeah we'll just do that one more We'll do it twice, and this will set us up for another heal setup for next turn. <clears throat> oh, she did the crimson charge thing again. Wait, how is she crimson finishing with that arm? It's broken. 
She just attacked me with the, her broken arm. I call shenanigans. Shenaniganery, I would. One might claim, in fact, shenaniganery. Okay, should be okay to do this. Yeah, she she just cheated a little bit there. Not a ton, but a little bit. I don't think it's going to help her much, but... Okay, so now I can do... Uh, this. Just kill this arm back up. Give us our 50 boost. Punch her into the back, or just do more damage. Do more damage. I'm impressed by your skills and your mecha's performance. Seems like it is the end of the road for me. I lost a well-fought fight, but I'm so glad I'm now able to look forward to our next match. I'm eager to make some adjustments. Oh, so she's kind of... Admitting defeat? <laughs> Seems odd. Maybe. Do one of these. And then we can do. All right, and then unless something insane happens next turn, we've got this. I haven't had so much fun in a while. I feel like I'm sparring with Matt. Though I still think those forearms are a mistake. It keeps her from reaching full potential. A mecha is the extension of your human potential. Synchronicity is achieved when pilot and mecha share the same body. So when I punch, I do so with my own will, my own arm. There's no difference. No delay between action and thought. Your piloting resembles the same idea. Sometimes I forget I'm piloting. Just like you said, me and Cowboy, we're one. If only more pilots could understand this concept. Oh, she's talking about Ultra Instinct mode. Oh, that was just a chest blast. All right, well. Also, she got her 70 uh, nano refuel again, by the way, everybody. So that we're aware. We can cardiac arrest her. Let's go. Let's punch it right in there, eh? We're going we're gonna to give her the old uh, five-finger death punch. Stop her heart. Excuse me, what now? Oh, okay. We have to do the special move to finish her off. The Killer Queen Project, RBP, deals 777 chest damage. <sighs> all right, I guess. We don't need this at all, but here we go. And that's the only thing I'm allowed to do, by the way. I can't even go back past this screen anymore. Oh, it's a, a rocket hand. Oil wars. The world's blood is being drained dry by the United States of North America. Millions have died, while billions still starve. Uh. In order to profit, the USNA has hidden the truth, keeping giant oil companies afloat. It is estimated we still have 120 years of petroleum supply available for extraction. With 
the discovery of a new formula able to deliver far more proficient fuel generation. The USNA has done everything in its power to stall the status quo. The discovery of a new element called Blazinium has been denied, refused, and discredited by every North American scientific academy. Blazinium supplies have been stolen, buried, and covered by the so-called International Peace Police. An explosion in the oil complex known as Heart of the Ocean has caused over 7% of Earth's water body to go to waste. The USNA still bleeds all of Eastern Asia for any droplets of oil they can get their hands on. Black oil. Black blood. For so long, I've watched my brothers and sisters die so the USNA could keep its supremacy. Their power display has put the world in check since World War II. But no more! My name is Igor Komarov. And I am taking over this planet. What? What you have all seen so far is a festival of pure entertainment and worthless combat. Oil-fueled giant robots meeting oil-fueled giant robots. The very oil stolen and ripped from my brother's lands. The very oil that stains our oceans black. The very oil that fuels our nations and flows through the veins of our homelands. The very same black oil that sustains 70% of the world's most prosperous country. Our precious oil is being dumped to feed war machines for entertainment. While the USNA barges into our homelands ever insatiable. More and more oil to feed the supremacy machine. In the shadows, they hide and steal our achievements. They keep the truth away, so they can still keep going on, extending their economic superiority, breathing life into the American dream. I say, no more! I am here tonight to prove to all of you that the Blazinium is real. The Soviets will no longer abide by USNA laws and agreements. We are no longer your lapdog alliance. This goes to send a message to the world. You amuse us with your war machines in a popular blood sport, bearing a past of bloodshed and genocide they were created for. You turn war and oil into entertainment, and we retrofeed you with curious eyes and astonished gazes. We are the ones who sustain your circus. Here, Stands your champion, the champion of the world, oh, over no. all war machines. From the ten best pilots and the ten best machines. You've chosen your champion. Uh... Now, let me present you mine. What? Uh... What?
I kind of had a feeling this would happen, but still feels a bit of a hard turn going from what is, was basically a sports anime. Is a blazinium fueled war machine made from materials gathered around the world. Am I missing a leg? I'm missing a leg right now, by the way. Leg missing. <clears throat> uh, basically, a sports anime rookie in sports climbs their way to the top and suddenly Cold War balls it. Yeah, I mean. I thought it was going to be a little more subtle because they have been playing it subtly, but no, it's just... Yeah, the art always had that leg missing? Really? Huh. I guess because it's off screen most of the time, they figured you wouldn't notice? Its sole energy source is capable of sending 20 spaceships back and forth to the moon with less than 20 Wow. Such is the power the USNA is keeping from you. Oh, we're literally picking up from where we left off, which is kind of beat up. Oh, my God. All right. Well, so we're meant to lose this fight, right? Yeah, we're definitely meant to lose this fight. Uh... Okay, so what happens if I do this? Nothing. He has, he's kind of got a point with the super fuel, but this just doesn't feel like the story for it. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Like there's holy armor. Yeah, he's got, he's got magical. Yeah, he's got some kind of magical energy shield thing going on. This is like Hunter x Hunter where they start having random like chi blasts and stuff like we've just entered the next era of the next chapter in this story that i thought was almost done i thought we'd be fighting cthulhu i didn't think we'd suddenly be taking on like space super robots uh, all right hold on so what happens if i attack the arm oh is the shield separate wait is the shield a shield a separate thing oh it's separate Oh my god, it's separate. Oh my god, it's oh my oh my god, it's separate? Wait, 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 wait. Also his shoulder is a revolver. Oh yeah, it's some kind of big Oh, oh on this side, yeah, they're big like revolver guns. That's really weird, actually, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So canyon reload. Or canyon guard. And then he doesn't have a nano machine thing, which is good, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Yeah, they don't have a nano gauge. So, but I, like I said, I don't think it's going to make a difference. I'm assuming they're about to just obliterate us. EMP pulse. Okay. Okay. Uh. 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 Now the question becomes, hold on. Okay, so if I do this, recover this. Oh, he's deadlocked. That did give me the bonus. Also, none of the characters are going to talk about the sudden hard turn. Nope. Maybe this is the thing for like a TV show that we got into after the fight. We got an achievement also for breaking this guy's shield, by the way. Um, everybody. 
I'm gonna build this up and then see what happens, I guess. Okay. Okay. All right. Odd. Uh, am I being set up? I vaguely feel like I'm being set up. Oh, it does a it has 170 armor. Oh, oh, okay. Uh Hold on. Hold on. Let me try something. Okay, we can take its armor down incredibly slowly. Can we win this strictly okay maybe i should be focusing on the arm that's holding the laser or the defense grid mean for me was the shooty shoot the only armor break move you had wasn't too relevant for this though yeah exactly uh oh no I'm dead oh yeah yeah no okay so we we're definitely meant to lose that fight got it fucking piece of shit Soviets we're on to it from the start so that's what you got in store? This motherfucking robot ain't leaving the premises. I don't care what it takes. International Peace Police! Yes, sir. What? He's a CIA agent. What? Fuck. Gotta find Neb. Neb, we gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. What about Uncle Knife? I'll take care of that. Where is everyone? Time's up, Trash. What? Shade? Shade? Shade! Huh? A turning point. Achievement a lot. Contract with the devil. A second chance. To make things right. Though I've never deserved that chance. Wherever I go, whatever I do, it all comes back to that day. I threw my life away that day. I wanted to prove something. I didn't want to be a weakling anymore. There's no excuse for my stupidity. At least I got to see her smile one last time. Coltrane. Oyabun. Duke. Knife. Nap. I failed them all. Always have. The fuck was I even trying to do? I know what I am. This is all just pretend. I'm a piece of shit swirling down the toilet. Always was, always will be. Even so, 
I couldn't help but enjoy my time with you guys. Even though I never deserved shit, I was having so much fun. I wish I could have done more for you. I wish I had saved the day. I wish I was the hero of my own story. But I guess I'm just happy to watch it all fade away. You're such a drama queen. Second. Excuse me, what now? It's not like you didn't know about it. We made a deal. You knew from the start this was going to end. Come on. I even made it so fucking clear. Day after day after day, you saw it all slip away. So what did you expect? Nothing can last forever. In fact, most things need to die to give space for another. Out with the old, in with the new. What's the big deal, Trash? Uh, all right. This is it. Want to play some more? Sit down, trash. I'll be player one. Uh, this has gotten very, very strange. It is incredibly strange. We're playing something, everybody. Am I dead? Does it really matter? Mm. The only thing you can do right now is keep on playing. This game kind of sucks. Well, that's because you play like shit. <laughs> Fair. Mm. What if I'm playing it wrong? Can't we just reset it? Start from the beginning? You could do that, but nothing would really change. This is how it ends. Why am I still here? Because we signed a contract. All right, so... So wait, 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 wait. Did they actually go to the crossroads and meet the devil who is foam gun and signed a contract with him? Is that what they're talking about? I don't remember it. You stuck for the ride, didn't you? You could jump off at any time. Forget about all this. But here you are. Apparently. You sold your soul to the devil. It's only fair I get a bit out of your time. So, what happens now? You didn't make your choice yet. Is there a choice to be made? There is. And I guess you've been preparing yourself for so long for this chance. I want to give you what you want. Your most precious secret desire. Do you know what it is? The end of all pain. As I stare down at this precipice, I see myself diving in. Drifting and rolling, swaying to the wind. My body vanishes into oblivion. I'm cosmic dust. I'm but a conscience thrown into space. I'm part of the universe, a whole constellation, a veil of darkness gazing into infinity. Suddenly, I realize I still breathe. I still think. So I zoom in into that familiar blue planet I see them as ants running about doing their stuff I'm mesmerized all I want to do is watch them going to the supermarket spending their lonely nights in front of the TV waiting anxiously for a drop of love I seem satisfied my hunger stays dormant for a million years I see them cry I see them laugh I see them fail only to succeed I see them changing all the time becoming
becoming better or worse, but never staying the same. And suddenly, I envy them, but I also despise them because they can't see the full picture. I want all the good things without having to face the bad ones. I'll give up life a million times because it isn't worth it. Why would I ever go through all this shit, struggling like hell for a few minutes of happiness a day? I'd rather not join this race. I'm an outsider. I'm staring from outer space. Because I know I can't do what all of them can. I don't want to. Where is it going to end? Where will this life lead me? What's the fucking purpose of living like a fucking human being? So, return me to dust. I'm a part of the blackness. A dot in the universe. The absence of consciousness. Make me nothing. Make me an existence. Is that what you really want? Huh. No trickeries. You won't look into my heart or something. Weigh my soul against a feather. I don't fucking care. We made a deal. I'll give you a choice, but think carefully. I'll only offer it once. Yes, your mother fucking dead and all. Lost bullet in the shootout. Pierced you right through the happy drummer. Sure, if it was up to me, I'd cut off your head instead, but, well, that's gotta do for now. <laughs> Anyways, trash. I had to think about what was just said there. That actually... White door. Oh, okay. This shit is everything you ever wanted. No mistakes. I ain't talking about death here. If you go through that door, you'll never even know you went through it. All records of your existence will be erased. You won't even know anything about that because you won't exist anymore. You won't think. You won't breathe. It's eternal darkness. Except darkness is still a thing, so I'm not even talking about that. It's the absence of everything. Total void. It won't be a reset state, no. It'll all be over, so you won't have to worry about anything anymore. Your past, present, and future, all stardust. Beautiful trash. Black door. You get back to your stupid, fucked up life with one extra hole. <laughs> your mother left you when you were a kid. You were raised by a criminal who despised you to help. You got beat up in school every day, but at least you made a truly great friend. Then you became a criminal yourself, but you had the chance to learn from a virtuous old man. Then we made a deal. You screwed it up. Kill the man who unleashed a chain reaction that ended up humiliating, torturing, and killing that virtuous old man. Not to mention, you got yourself and your true friend kicked out of that country. Then you robbed a bank with a bunch of misfits, but you never really touched your part of the price. You played house for three years with a woman and her daughter, and then bounced, disappeared from their lives. Then your bank robber friend died for unknown reasons and left you a giant stupid robot. Well, you know how it goes from here. That's your baggage, Trash. The weight you gotta carry. I can't see what hell will happen if you decide to choose this door. Whatever door you choose, that's the end of your debt to me. I won't pester you anymore. Well, maybe for fun at some point, but you owe me nothing, Trash. So what's it gonna be? Oh, I get to choose. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> okay, hold on. So, I feel like... 
I mean, obviously, I want the black door so we can continue this, right? But I feel like Shade would want the white door, right? Kind of? He, he's a hard man to pin down, but... I mean, we just make the... We just take the black door, right? Right, for lore, but white door for completion? Yeah, I, don't, I guess this would probably just end it. But this is probably... This is how we get the rest of the story? We even talked about the white and black of Pineapple and Shade's names. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Alright, well... Shade it is, I guess. Black door. So, back to fuck stakes. Do I want this? Should I really keep going? Even if I know I've messed up so many lives in the process. Every step I take feels like a disaster. Like an elephant in a china shop. Not really. I mean, recently you've been doing very good, but then you've also been controlled by a different human being, so... There's Neb. But then again, wouldn't she be better without me? No. Actually, right now, in fact, she would probably be in a horrific spot. It's such a hassle to be here doing things trying so hard not to screw everything up i don't want to disappear not really but if it keeps me from suffering wouldn't it be such a bad thing if i choose this i must do it for myself and no one else no looking back no regrets then again why the hell Uh, well, that's character bait. <laughs> that's character building shade, yeah. Maybe in a way this is all saying that White Door benefits Pineapple because Shade never met him, and Black Door just benefits Shade. Maybe? I, I mean... I... I guess... But I mean, would he be living, would Pineapple be living his dream if he hadn't met Shade? Or would he just be working at the bank? Like, he would have got the Mecca maybe eventually, but... But would we have had the money and the time and the parts to be able to actually put the mech together and be a winner? Um, I mean... I'm just gonna go for it. Because I need to, we need to keep going. I want to see what's next. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. All right, let's let's see what happens. Well, don't go regretting your crappy choice. Well, if you think it's a cra a, a bad choice, then it's probably an okay choice. Huh? I really thought you wouldn't take the chance. Let me make one last question before you go. Then, why did you choose this door? What's in it for you? I can assure you, nobody would miss you, and you ain't gonna make a difference to the world. Also, there's a great chance you're going to suffer like a dog all for nothing. You'll have to face all your demons. Many are just lurking, waiting for the right moment to jump on you. So why? Why go through the trouble? Why keep on living a life that you already messed up? Oh, I thought maybe it was going to give me like... Black is my favorite color. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Make the right choice. Oh, yeah, one. I've been waiting for you. Here. This bitch has been waiting as well. Seven leaf lotus. What? I'm sorry, old man. What I did to you, I... You had no power over me. 
I made my choices alone, and I stand by them. Even so, it was my fault. It was all my fucking fault. I'm the one who killed that man. I'm the one who killed you. You're just a fucking fool. A fool who made a grave mistake, but still a fool. So what? You're gonna cry all the way to your death? Is that what you're going back for? To live a life filled with regret? You didn't kill me, son. <laughs> oh, I'm on such an epic guy. Yeah, definitely. I did it. I chose it. And don't you dare take it away from me. I would die a thousand times before you. Why? Because you are my son and I love you. You're a good man, Shade. You made a mistake and you will pay for it in time. Nonetheless, it shouldn't stop you from doing your best. Learn. Improve. Change. It doesn't matter what the world thinks about you. In the end, you and only you will be your judge. Oh, yeah, boy. You're my son, kiddo. Don't you forget about it. I ain't no father of a piece of shit. Come. Let's get this over with. What do you mean? You have to let me go. Let me become a bitter memory and stop dragging me through your mess. <laughs> what? I, I can't do that. Then you'd better have chosen that white door. You ain't getting through me until you're ready. You want back? You gotta deserve it, son. No arguing about that. And before this, and before suddenly the ending plays like Katana Zero, yeah. I can kick your ass for eternity. Oh, your bun. Stop being a coward and face me. Come on, Kate. Okay. Shade in the wolf versus Shikashui. Shui? Oh, we're just having a sword battle now, everybody. Fight with all your strengths. Oh, your bun. That's more like it, kiddo. I ain't holding back. This isn't right, old man. Uh. Ow. <laughs> all my organs. I like Shade's crying through all of this. They closed the Pog Champ's mouth for April Fool's. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so it looks like our our left arm is all messed up. Uh, increase morale by ten. Attack plus five until end of turn. Taunt duration one. Require requires right arm. Okay. Uh, deal five damage. Deal five damage. Knock back one. Deal five damage. All units. It's got a cooldown of one. Deal ten damage. Deal ten damage. Disable duration one. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, so he's got a hundred chests. So I'd have to hit this ten times. So I'd have to hit this... I'd have to have, like, four turns to do that. Um... Two, two and a cooldown. Uh, uh, okay. 
increase morale by 10, attack plus 5 until end of turn. Taunt duration 1. Okay. I, I guess I do... Yeah, yeah, I noticed that that, and I have five movement now, too. Um, let's do this, and then we move up here, and then we attack. Um, it's not wearing a shirt, I don't think. Like, should I, like, if I end it, what if I wound his head? Does that, like, kill him? And this module really piled up the character building on Shade for this last act. Yeah. There's a lot going on here suddenly. Oh, that's two. And this is two. Why would I not do this one? Okay. And I guess we'll just taunt onto our right arm. And See what happens, everybody. Suck up your tears. Are you Yakuza or not? I was exiled. Bullshit. Did you think they would make it so easy for you? They'll be coming for you, kiddo. Once you stay in black, there's no going back. You better suit up. A storm is coming your way. I mean, is this just setting up the sequel? Also, I like that one sword has like a buff guy on the end of it, and the other one has like a queen woman on the other on the back of the other end. I don't know if I can make it. I don't want to get this. Okay. Oh, he's not attacking. Oh, no, there he goes. 10 damage. Oh, I think he's, yeah, I think he's taking it kind of easy on us. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's got to be way back there. Oh, that's, that's weird. And him back in the corner might be the play? Yeah, I th it kind of felt like it. I just don't know how tr hard he's trying. You know? Oh, right. I don't have... Wasted an attack action, I guess. Hmm. 
Huh. All right. Well, I guess let's see what happens now. To the devil. We all did. That's who we are. Embrace it. Let me see your ambitions rise and bloom. That ain't right, old man. I'm not that anymore. Then who the hell are you? That was a weird move. Okay, well, our arm's offline. That's probably bad. Ah, okay. So wait, how much? So I need five attacks. I do that. Uh, that would do three. But that would be a plus twenty five damage, so that'd be thirty damage on its own. Oh, that actually would be enough to kill him. I don't know. Can I make this cinematic looking? Hold on. I hope so. Oh, I can. All right. Let's see what happens when we win this, maybe? so important that you need to go back in such a rush you're right I ain't got any big plans I'm just a scumbag who killed a man in a moment of plain stupidity Wait, I killed what? a father I killed a husband I killed a man who deserved to live his life a thousand times more than I do but I ain't gonna feel sorry for my shitty ass anymore. I'll make up for it. I'll do everything I can. Wait, where? What? So I can see her smile again. I can do so much for that man's daughter. I'm supporting her dreams in any way I can. Oh, okay. I'll be there for her whenever she needs me. Even if her mother hates me, even if she despises me. I won't let the world take anything else from her. That's not up to you. I don't give a rat's ass about it. I just want to see Neb smile again. You killed a man and fell for his wife. You raised his child. And ran away in fear they would find out. So how, how in hell are you going to make up for that? I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care. You talk big, you fucking piece of shit. Look what you did to me. The whole world is better off without you. I'm done with this bullshit, old man. I'm done being my own warden. I'm letting myself out of this prison. God, the universe, the world, whatever they decide is right for me, I'll take it. But I won't. What? What? You fucking what? I won't judge myself anymore. I'll pay the price, whatever it is. 
Until then, I'll do my best just to keep her smiling from the bottom of her heart. This ain't your place. You should die. You should be dead. You worthless piece of trash. I'm done with you, old man. It's time for you to go. We both know Oyabun would never say something like that. He took it to the end with his chin up, pride intact, the biggest man I've ever known. When my time comes, I'll be ready for it, Oyabun. Just like you were. I've always been guilty. Oh God, that haircut. Born as an unwanted foreign child, I was guilty of being different, guilty of being unlovable. I was guilty for not standing up for myself, not even once, because I felt I deserved every punch. I'm guilty of throwing myself in the dump before anyone else did it. Not worth it, not good enough. I'm guilty of so many damn things I couldn't make a list. But the one thing I'm truly guilty of is that I never made an effort to love myself. Of all the violence I suffered from all the neglect around me, that's my fucking biggest mistake. I taught myself that. I made myself unworthy of love. And that was the start for this shit spiral I'm going down. Well. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm just tired of pointing fingers, grasping smoke. I'm done avoiding myself. I can't promise I'm gonna love who I am right now. But at least I gotta respect what I've become. I ain't a piece of shit. I also ain't any kind of superhero. What I am is just me. And under all the circumstances, I don't think anyone would do a better job at being myself. I'm proud of this, at least. I never meant to kill you. I just wanted to get rid of my weakness to protect those important to me. When I pulled that trigger, I killed my chances of forgiveness. I wasn't aiming at you, but at the whole world. I wanted to retribute all the violence I suffered. Now I know I was the one who hurt myself the most. I'm not looking for redemption anymore. I'll just accept things as they are. I took a life, and so my own life was taken. I'm sorry, Neb. I'm sorry I killed your father. I can't go back in time. I can't erase what's done, but for all it's worth, this is my turning point. Can't say this is an easy feeling, but I'm holding on to what I have. All these motherfuckers around me. I love each and every one of them. Wow. Man Goose and the bear guy are there. Happened to them. So I guess there's that. There ain't much I think about doing for myself right now. But once I heard sometimes the best way to help yourself is to help someone else. Guess I want to do just that. In my own crooked terms, I guess. I'm glad I had you all there, my friends. It's been a while since I saw Cowboy for the last time. I heard he was taken by the IPP, some bureaucratic stuff with the Chinese government. I miss the sight, the smell of grease and metal, the thuds and clanks. With all the repercussions we got from the final fortnight, we got some good offers. We split a big load of cash and went about our ways. I can't help but think, GW planned this all along. Cowboy brought us all together again. A last reunion for the dead motherfucker society. So we did cash in, unnatural as it sounds. <laughs> With all the IPP ruckus and that Komarov stunt, the Met Committee still got our backs. Needless to say, the wizard was able to pay off his debt and release the dragon. Well, she'd never really, really been kidnapped, but that's another story. What's important is they finally got to enjoy some beach time. Cancun. I got some postcards, believe it or not. Just hope wizard's keeping his distance from any gambling dens. Pineapples got back to his sister and nieces. Aww. He announced his retirement before we parted ways. A shame, really. Said he wanted to write a book, 
to live in calm waters. Very he's cute. He's a talented kid. He can make anything happen as long as he puts his mind to it. His sister's orphanage is a hit, taking kids from anywhere across the USSA. It isn't uncommon to see them on the news. They're part of Mad Margot's program now. May the pineapple god be watching over you, my friend. Neb finally went back to her mother. Somehow she managed to dodge the charges for setting her school on fire. <laughs> I still can't believe she did that. But, well, at least nobody got hurt. By the way, I promise to keep in touch with her. I'll seriously do my best. Who am I kidding? I'll probably disappear for at least another seven years or so. I'll be on the lookout. Just to know if she's doing okay, though. And I hope to see her again someday. She's the whole reason why I got back, after all. As soon as the FF was over, that piece of junk simply vanished. I hope he's traveling around the world like he said he would. Wow. Maybe looking for his own purpose. He's loose, everybody. Peepoo is loose. annoying the hell out of someone out there right now. Yeah, I'm going to miss Mr. Peeps for sure. As much as he was a pain in the ass, he was a good friend. The last I heard from the dynamic duo, they were set on a business trip to Hawaii. Jack is still undergoing severe physical therapy to get his legs up and running again. Jeez, Fancy Jack is ripped. It surprised me to see him as one of the best pilots on the planet as well. Also, I don't know if they'll ever return to Rain City. Seems like Hog's Yard was sold to some contractor. That place is going to turn out to be a fancy condo of sorts. Kala and Sayuki disappeared suddenly. No notes, signs, or whatever. I wonder how they're doing right now. Hope they didn't get tangled with the local mafia. Things turned out well for Z. She's working on her own mech brand and growing her biz around the world. I often see her face on the covers of expensive magazines about mechs and millionaires. She closed shop in Rain City and moved to the USNA. As for May, I heard she really did join the police force. Really? I can never figure out what the hell is going through her head, but, well, good luck out there. Old ass Cap is expanding his business to board games. Seems like he still had some ideas of his own. He's majoring in game design. <laughs> good old ass Cap. I'm gonna miss our games. I didn't see Joy after the incident. Though I heard the writer was still operational some weeks ago. Maybe she's back in action as a bounty hunter. I doubt she could keep being a bartender for so long. Oh, so she was lullaby, I think. All right. Model design. Rain City. Guess this will be the last of it. Old folks are either dying or moving away. Old buildings are getting demolished to give way to subway stations and such. Soon enough, the whole damned place will be swallowed by the metropolis. I'll definitely miss it. As for me, who knows? I go where the road takes me. With everything that's going on with the world, I just feel like things are never going to be the same. We're on the edge of a third world war. In truth, it's already happening. It's not too far off until the USSA gets dragged in. The Soviets are investing hard in space programs, kicking off a space race with colonization in mind. Nothing's gonna stay the same. I'm taking my time, getting ready for whatever's coming. I wish I could say more to you. I ain't very good with goodbyes, but, well. See you around, trash. Achievement unlocked. Yes, it's all random. Okay, I cannot control... Oh, nope, he's walking on his own.
I guess we got there. <laughs> so if this is the end, are we going to move Azura to Thursday since it's pretty tactical? I guess we could. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from doing that, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dominic Shade. Joy, Peepoo, Fancy Jack, Nebraska, Kala, National Legend, May, Coltrane. Newspaper says various, Patrick, store owner, Pineapple, Durham, Michelle, Canyon Bolt, and then Queen, Lionel, GW. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um. Uh, well, Cardinal of Exodus, um, I guess what, what we did there, I guess for a quick recap for you, we chose the black door because it was Shade's favorite color. We fought Oibon to prove that we were deserving of going back to being alive. And then that, that little thing explaining what happened to everybody started basically. So... You didn't miss much. You just missed the weird fight with Oibon. Um. So that. Huh. I think it was good, but still feel like the World War III stuff was a bit too out of place. Yeah, it was a little strange for that to be the way we went out at the end. It felt very out of left field. And you, Player Trash, thank you so much for playing this piece of pee. So, uh, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just done. I mean, the other, I mean, the other option, I guess, is there was what? two decisions we could have changed which was we could have killed the pig guy which I don't know how much that would have actually changed or we could have chose the white door at the end so I don't know if like there's a radically different thing going on or uh all right well there we go, everybody. Uh, well, let's look at the uh, achievements real quick. Let's view the achievements. Okay, so we missed two achievements. There's two hidden achievements I did not get. Uh, but outside of that, um, what were the ones we got right there at the end? Okay, yes, it's all random was complete chapter seven. We are number one is defeat Eagle Bridge. Contract with the devil, reach the end of your days. Um Oh, defied God. Destroy KSVK is antimatter shield. So by defeating his shield alone, we got an achievement, let alone actually, like, damaging his armor and stuff. 
Underworld King. Yeah. So I'm assuming maybe these other two achievements were like letting the pig die and choosing the black or the white door instead of the black door. Like one of them was probably like prefer like preferred in existence. Choose the black door or choose the white door at the end. And then the other one is probably letting the pig man uh, fancy or uh, yeah, fancy Jack get killed during that scene where he's a hostage. Wow. All right. Well, we did it, everybody. Uh, it took us 40 hours. Full work week. Well, 40.5, so a little overtime in there, but mostly most of it, you know. Um, there was a few graphic, uh, gra grammatical errors, but, oh, that's interesting. Apparently, I wonder what would happen if you had lost to Oibon. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we didn't lose any of the story fights, so we never lo saw what an ending looked like. Players and readers can also find pencils. What was that point? However, fans of the can dig even deeper by reading a pre-VO script. Apparently, one of the things that was included when I bought this was complete three of three hundred. Was the script? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just the script. So I could literally go through and apparently just read. Yeah, yeah, it's literally just the script with like. Hold on. Um, I think I can show you this. <clears throat> it's literally just the script of what we saw. With doodles and stuff in the margins huh interesting oh who's this hmm some other stuff I guess weird all right well there we go, everybody. That that marks the end. Are getting dumber and dumber? Well, you know. Um, so you said you saw the door thing, right, Cardinal? Also, we're just going to be playing um, Elden Ring to finish out the night. Where is the Elden Ring? There it is. 